Hey guys, how you going? Today I'm going to flip this bed here that had the poppies, the anemones, and now has the gladiolus. So here's where the poppies are. I started, well, last week I set up the irrigation, actually like plugged it in and stuff. So since then, the poppies have actually come back, some that are near the drip. So I think I will selectively, like this one's really pretty. Well, it's not really pretty, it's going, it's still alive. So I might just leave them in, but take out like the ones that are, you know, dead. And then down here, there were some more poppies. These ones I didn't cut from, but they were pretty cool. I can't quite remember what variety they were. And then I had the anemones, here and I pulled them out. I dug them up last week or the week before, but I'm fairly certain that I would not have got them all. I was thinking that this was going to be really hard to dig, but since I've been watering it, and there's the gladiolus, my lilies that are not going to do anything, but there's the gladiolus, and I thought it was going to be really hard to dig, but I shoved the fork in and it is quite good with the exception of a couple of spots, like just here right at the end. I couldn't get the fork in here, but there's no drip between there and there. So I might need to put one in there just to keep that end watered. So with all of that said, let's get into it. Okay, so I have gone through and pulled out all of the poppies. I wasn't going to. I thought that since they'd started to grow again, I might leave them and I was gonna leave the east side row so that then the sunflowers would grow up and shade them. But, Sunflowers are more valuable crop to me right now than poppies. So the more sunflowers I can plant, the better. So while I was here, I decided to pull out all of the syrinth. So that just got too hot and I couldn't water it because I didn't have the irrigation set up. Although I did actually have the irrigation set up, I just didn't realize. So here we can see lots of the seeds. So I might collect some. I don't, like there's heaps. And syrinth seed is really expensive. The flies. 
you should wear a fly net, but I thought for the sake of, you know, not, not looking like an idiot on camera and on the internet, I wouldn't wear the fly net. Anyway, I'm gonna collect the uh, syrinth seeds. I will put them into here and then later on, when I go back inside, um, I will put one of those moisture thingy majiggies in with it. They look like little, I don't know. I don't know what they look like. There's quite a few just here though. So there's like three sweet peas in there that would cost me, oh, I don't know how much the strength was. All I'm gonna do is that. Just to loosen up all of these gnarly bits. Okay, after the hoe, I'm gonna go through with my, what's that, a five prong hoe and just try and break up any of the other bits that I didn't get with the big hoe. So I've gone over it a couple of times. So the first time with that with the hoe and then with the five pronged hoe. And now I'm just sort of leveling it out the best I can with a rake, but using the other side. Once I've gone over it with that one, I come through with this thing, this is absolutely unnecessary. Like this is perfect how it is. I'm just gonna come back through, relay the irrigation. Definitely stretched. I pull it back up a bit at the other end. And now I think I'll just go back through and put the pins in. Oh, well, that is that bed flipped and ready to go for sunflowers. It was a lot easier to do than I anticipated because I thought it was gonna be as hard, like cement wise, as the bits of this bed are down there. But it wasn't, so yay! Now we can plant something. A beautiful bed ready to go. So with that, you take care and I will see you in the next video, probably with a fly net on so I don't have to get so angry with the flies. Okay, take care, bye.